there is a species of bird. They were living every hour of the until one day a group of talking apes landed on the island. Thereafter, they were killed one by one until none of them left. Ladies and gentlemen, the story I'm going to tell you today is an historical account and not a science teacher. The bird that I just mentioned is the dodo bird which went extinct. And the talking, talking ape is actually you, including me, Homo sapiens of human beings. It was in the year 1598 a group of Homo sapiens or a group of Portuguese sailors landed on the island of Mauritius. The island of Mauritius is an island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. When they landed, to their amusement, they found an unknown species, previously unknown species, that greet them and come to them in a childlike behavior. The humans being ignorant uh, and found that uh, being ignorant mistook this childlike behavior, this gentle spirit of the bird, and the nature of this bird not fearing them as stupid. So they call that the dodo. It means foolish human beings. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little bit about the dodo. Some of you who like the theory of evolution would know Charles Darwin, in his book The Origin of Species, proposed and provided scientific evidence that all living organisms in this planet evolved through the process of natural selection. So were the dodo. So were the dodo. Nevertheless, if you look into Mauritius, we realize that Mauritius is an island so isolated from all the main banks. And for the dodo, there's no natural predator in that island. On top of that, their diet was a substance of oily vegetation that fell on the ground abundantly all over the island. So they don't need to find a way for anyone. They need to find to get food. They evolve under that circumstances. Under that circumstances, there's no predator, there's no abundance of food, and that circumstances, ladies and gentlemen, lasted a million over years. They evolved into a fightless bird, and instinctively, they don't have fear. Nevertheless, so sad for the dodo, but the nature, the nature which they were living, changed abruptly when the humans landed. The human landed in Mauritius to settle. Along with that, they brought in domesticated animals such as dogs, cats, pigs, and even monkeys. While the humans were burning forests and cleared land, these animals they brought along were hunting the dodo bird and plundered their nest. The dodo bird was helpless, and one by one, they just vanished. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm embarrassed to say that we homo sapiens took a hundred years only. Took a hundred years only to wipe out the entire species. They may have been gone for a million years, but just like that, they are gone. And if any one of you want to see a dodo, you can do like that, you can go to Google. Go to I'm feeling lucky button, type dodo. You can see a few pictures and countless articles, scientists, self-claimed experts that argue, counter-argue, what actually a dodo bird look like, how fast, or how slow it actually run. What is the shape of the eggs? You just simply can't go over a zoo and say, oh, yeah, that is a dodo bird, Portuguese called stupid. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this sad is it? They said, isn't it? I'm not a big environmentalist. I'm not outlaw. Nevertheless, I feel that this story sounds like an inconvenient truth. Huh? But if we humans are doing the way we are doing, with the speed we are doing, I think we don't have time to evolve. off. Feeling the sun burning in my skin, my skin has not evolved to stand, stand the sun. I'm not going to give you a big fat advice. I'm ask you to save the world, save the real. Uh, I don't want to do that this time. I would like to end my speech with one of my favorite dialogues from the movie Matrix, where the character, the character Agent Smith, told Morpheus this. And I quote, ladies and gentlemen, I like to share a revelation I had in my life here. It came to me when I tried to classify your speech. I realize that you are all not mammals. Every mammal on this planet 
There was just a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment. But you humans do not. You humans do not. You move to an area and multiply. And multiply. Until every natural resources is consumed. Then, sorry, the only way you can survive is to move to another area. There is one organism that shares a similar pattern. Do you know what is it? A virus. Thank you ladies and gentlemen.